สวัสดีครับ Good morning Welcome to the Insider I am Major General Virachon s u k o n t a p a t i p a k This morning I am at the office of Japan External Trade Organization in Bangkok or j a t r o in Bangkok. This organization has played such a vital role in economic cooperation between our two countries. And this morning I will be talking to Mr. Masayasu Hosumi, the president of j a t r o Bangkok. He is very important person. In terms of the cooperation between our two countries, particularly in economic area, we will be listening to his view on the future direction of the relationship between our two countries, which way we would cooperate in the areas of economic. And of course, before talking to him, I would like to take you to get to know j a t r o more. Japan has played a key role in Thailand's economic success story. Trade and commerce between the two kingdoms began hundreds of years ago and continues to thrive to this very day. Japan is Thailand's biggest investor, and there are almost 50,000 Japanese expats living in Thailand, the fourth largest number of Japanese expats living in a foreign country. What is the special connection about? To find out what lies behind this unique relationship, we need to see the dynamic role the Japanese government has had in promoting Thai Japanese enterprises. This takes us to the Japan External Trade Organization, or JETRO, in Bangkok. JETRO Bangkok was established in 1959 and has played a prominent role in facilitating bilateral trade and investment between Thailand and Japan. JETRO offers a wide range of services such as timely market intelligence, extensive business development support, and relevant business events designed to encourage new business between foreign companies in Japan. Over the past three decades, JETRO Bangkok has contributed to increasing Thai exports to the Japanese market and has promoted the attractiveness of Thailand's investment environment to Japan's business community. In particular, JETRO Bangkok also works with Thai companies to help them strengthen industrial competitiveness and export markets, and to upgrade business-related systems and nurture human resources. The organization also supports Japanese enterprises, especially SMEs, to build stronger business ties in Thailand while facilitating Japanese firms in Thailand by working with the Royal Thai Government to improve investment environment and intellectual property protection. Furthermore, it has positioned itself as a major JETRO branch among some 80 JETRO overseas offices, as a coordination center among offices located in Asia. With such an extensive portfolio, it is only fitting that we take a look at what the head of such an agency has in store for Thai and Japanese industries. Thank you very much. Good morning once again. You're welcome. Sawadikka. Sawadikka. And thank you very much for being with us. And of course, as I mentioned to you, Japan and Thailand, we are a great partner. Yes. Of course, we have a very long history of yes. relationship. Yes. They took back, uh, I think, 600 years yes, ago. Yes. And we have a close cooperation at all level, all yes. dimensions. Yes. The imperial family and the, the Thai royal family are very close. At the people to people level, we have a lot of exchange. Yes. Now, a large number of the Thai people have visited Japan yeah. because the Japanese government very kind, was very, is very kind enough to, you know, allow Thailand not, not to have a visa. We don't, need to, we don't need visa to visit Japan. So this helps to promote a relationship between people to people mm -hmm. of the two countries. Yes. So uh, you have been in this position for, for how long? Just one year. Just one year. Mm -hmm. And um, would you mind sharing with me what is the role? I know that the Detro, right? What has been the changing role of Jetro I from see. the very beginning. I see. And the, first of all, I'd like to refer to the uh, foundation of Jetro. The Jetro is uh, uh, some uh, spe uh, special organization based upon special law. Uh, in, this, in that sense that our Jetro and Bangkok office was established in 1959. However, before, based upon the, such a special law, we have a kind of the association and that association in Bangkok office was uh, founded in 1954. So it means last year we celebrated the 60th anniversary oh. of the uh, Bangkok office here. Mm -hmm. So this year it is uh, 61 year old. And the, as for the function uh, role of JETRO uh, is concerned, we have a, a, bit, you know, a bit history of the, some priority of the businesses. Main business is a kind of promotion of trade and investment 
between Japan and the rest of the world. And the, in 1980s, or before, around 1980s, at the uh, 1980s to 1990s, we much more put priori we put much more priority on the uh, promotion of importation from the rest of the world to balance a kind of you know, uh, trade balance uh, for Japan. But after 1990s and the year 2000, we have been shifted a kind of the focus of our you know, businesses from importation, uh, promotion of importation to kind of the importation, uh, promotion of the investment from the rest of the world to Japan. Besides that, uh, we have you know, been the, uh, uh, engaged or involved in uh, expansion of the Japanese local, especially the SMEs, you know, the businesses abroad. We have been assisting those SMEs to do the business in the rest of the world. And the, we also try to have a kind of the collaboration between the uh, Thai local industry and our private uh, Japanese private sectors. So time to time, we have been shifted some priority. At this moment, the first priority goes to the promotion of the investment mm -hmm. in Japan mm -hmm. from Thailand. We had a big seminar uh, at the end of the, uh, May this year, uh, inviting our president and C uh, chairman and CEO of ishige san from Tokyo, inviting so many uh, exec uh, executive of the uh, private sector of, of Thai and the uh, and we also had our honor to welcome the keynote speaker from the uh, DPM, uh, Mr. Pritiyatong. And the, the second one is the, uh, <coughs> is the uh, assisting the, uh, you know, the Japanese SMEs to develop, mm -hmm. to develop their businesses overseas, it's in particular at the, this Taiwan. And the third one is the kind of promotion of the agricultural product, Japanese agriculture product, from Japan to the rest of the world. This is the kind of the three major, you know, the pillar of our in the businesses here. Before touching on the um, economic between Japan and Thailand, because right now the world economy is quite quite slow. Mm -hmm. So would you mind uh, sharing with me your perception on world economy? Very big question. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the, uh, talking about world economy, we can see some, you know, the up and down, the change of the you know, everyday market situation and so on. And in general, that the, uh, the economy in the U.S. and the Japan would be, uh, you know, the better than better than before. But the other than that, we could see a bit, you know, kind of an adjustment of the economy in the in the Europe. Uh, and China and the, uh, some other region. So the, uh, from the, in terms of the total volume of world trade, uh, for the last couple of years, uh, we could see a, a bit, you know, slow pace of the uh, growth of the, you know, the mm -hmm. total volume of trade. So it's a bit, you know, slow year. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, we still managed to so, Mr. Hosomi, yes. can I call you Hosomi-san? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, Hosomi-san, under the world economic slowdown, every government around the world fighting you know, at their best capacity in order to, to deal with the current economic situation. Yes, yes. In fact, I remember that uh, during the conversation or during the meeting between our two leaders, uh, your leaders has introduced, has shared with us the Japan plus one mm -hmm. policy. Mm -hmm. and Thai Prime Minister has also uh, embraced that kind of policy and applied to be um, the Thailand plus one policy. So what do you see the opportunity for Japan, particularly for the investor from, from Japan, you know, to, to um, enjoy or to participate with this kind of project? Let's start with the um, infrastructure development yeah, policy. As for infrastructure development, issue is concerned, the, we understand that the, uh, you know, the better infrastructure is a kind of the basis for doing business and the leading a you know, comfortable life. And the, compared to the other you know, the, uh, neighboring nation, we can say the, uh, the infrastructure in Taiwan is you know, well uh, developed. Uh, however, we further you know, the, uh, 
expect you know, the further development of infrastructure for, for much better, much more you know, the improved uh, business climate for the investors. In this sense, we support this kind of the development of infrastructure. And the second issue is the, what the oh, SEG. SEG issue, OK? Yes. And the, as for the uh, uh, SE special economic zone issue is concerned, we also uh, you know, communicated with our uh, Japanese Chamber of Commerce, or JCC membership. And the, the response from the, our JCC membership is, uh, uh, you know, in short, the, they don't have you know, the sufficient information mm -hmm. to judge. Mm -hmm. the, uh, judge the status of the regional or border uh, uh, special economic zone. Almost 30% of the respondents say they don't have the, uh, you know, the uh, sufficient information mm. on that issue. Of course, we, we can see some development of the policy and measures adopted by the U.S. government on the uh, respective SEG. Mm -hmm. And the, therefore, it's a bit, you know, I say uh, it's a bit, a little bit early mm. stage for the investors' viewpoint. Mm -hmm. They need a kind of the information. What kind of you know the facility will be provided uh, with the investors? Mm -hmm. Where would be the you know the actual uh, site of the industrial park and the what kind of facility? I mean the the uh, rental or cost of the uh, land and the electricity, the water, and the logistic, and so on. We need a such kind of you know, variety of the wide, wide range of the information to make such kind of the decision. Therefore, the, uh, some industry who show the interest on this uh, project are kind of logistic, uh, like warehouse, or uh, some the uh, building, uh, construction businesses, and so on. So, uh, we we we'll like to share m more information mm -hmm. about the development of mm -hmm. these, uh, uh, you know, the uh, SEG initiative. Okay. Yes. What is the third one? Third one. Third one is the uh, Thai plus one issue. Thai plus uh, one. Yes. Uh, I understand that our two leaders has, has discussed this issue, and the basically Thai government and Thai sector has adopted this kind of the policy. Mm -hmm. And it is true that some Japanese, you know, the electric, electronic and the electric company has a kind of the uh, satellite factory, satellite yes. factory uh, in neighboring uh, nation. In nation. Because the, uh, due to the, uh, you know, the higher level of the wages mm -hmm. and labor costs in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and the, uh, it is natural for some of the company to, uh, to outsource some labor intensive process to those neighboring countries. But eventually, uh, the products, you know, the uh, manufactured in those, uh, 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 those factory should be packed to the uh, main factory in, yes. Bang in Bangkok yes. or in Thailand, and eventually should be sold in domestically yes. in, in Thailand and also the export to the rest of the world. This is the kind of the mm. typical mm. formation of Thai mm. plus one. Mm. Well, the idea of Thailand plus one is uh, to make Thailand uh, become more attractive to the foreign in investor. Mm -hmm. And one uh, key objective for the Prime Minister is because we don't want to leave anyone behind. Mm -hmm. We don't want just Thailand to be prosperous or to be advanced more than the others. So we need to, to work together with our neighbors. Mm -hmm. We need to mitigate the economic disparity between Thailand and neighbors. Mm -hmm. by. Uh, introduce the Thailand plus one policy mm -hmm. will serve this purpose. This is the main um, con one of the concepts mm, yeah, of the yeah. Thailand plus one policy. Yes. By having this policy, you know, and the ASEAN community um, concept, do you see Thailand in, in I mean, um, in your perception or in the Japanese investor, do they see Thailand as the hubs of the region? Yeah, I, I say, the, you know, the, so many, you know, the respective member country of ASEAN, uh, you know, claim they are the hub of the mm -hmm. ASEAN. But mm -hmm. the, uh, having said that, the, uh, from the viewpoint of geopolitical viewpoint, mm -hmm. it is clear that Thailand occupied a kind of very pivotal mm -hmm. 
uh, position in the, especially in sub, sub Mekong region. And the, uh, yes, and the, we also understand the Thai government has tried to, you know, the, uh, expand such kind of infrastructure uh, development into the neighboring countries. And the, we can also see the, some, you know, the uh, improvement of the uh, cargo logistic mm -hmm. or, uh, car yes, cargo logistic uh, businesses with neighboring countries. But today we can see that the, as far as hard development of hard infrastructure is concerned, that has been developed steadily, steadily. And of course, lately I have heard about the report of JTRO on the survey of business sentiment of Japanese corporation in Thailand. There are a number of areas of sectors that the Japanese investor you know, mentioned about Thailand. And I'd like to, to, to get more detail on mm. which sector that you know, the Japanese investor is you know, uh, interested in doing like kind of more that more on Thailand at the moment? I think that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. I also uh, had the similar question from some of the, uh, our, our friends in the uh, uh, Thai private sector. And the, they requested us to help and share the, uh, our you know, the general view mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the competitiveness of a promising industry in Taiwan. And the, the uh, ranking the answer from the, according to the answer from the our membership, the first ranking goes to automobile. Automobile. Mm, not yeah. only from the manufacturer, but also the no, non manufacturing mm -hmm. sector as well. It's across the industry survey. The second goes to the uh, tourism and travel. Tourism. Yeah. And travel. Third one is the medical and welfare. Mm -hmm. Fourth, food. And fifth, electric and electronic machine industry. Mm. And the, these, you know, the response. We got from the uh, our you know the uh, Japanese uh, friend uh, are almost you know the, uh, are recognized as the same as general view of mm -hmm. Thai people. So the even from our Japanese investors' viewpoint, we can share almost the same you know the idea or the image on the uh, you know future very promising industry in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, your your at Jetro important role. I mean, Jetro is very very important to Thailand as well as important to the Japanese investor. What information that you know, you send to the um, Japanese investor about Thailand uh, at the moment? I say the uh, this Bangkok office is actually the has attended uh, the largest number of visitors. Uh, in our, you know, uh, over 70 uh, overseas branch offices of Jetro. Mm -hmm. And the, we have been provided, uh, we are always, you know, uh, providing so many, you know, information or advice on the uh, business climate in Thailand and so on. But the, I personally think the, the, the biggest and the most, you know, attractive, attractiveness of the Thai market is the, the people. Thai people, or the talent of Thai people. I think th that is the, I say, the biggest, the biggest, biggest, you know, the attractive yeah. attractiveness Maybe of the, the market. Yeah. The Thai people are very, you know, the, uh, I say, uh, I say, uh, uh, generous and kind hospitable. and uh, hos hospitable. Yeah. And it's very rare for Thai people to say no, <laughs> even <laughs> though they, they might be so. So this kind of the generosity and hospitality and the, the talent to adjust to such kind of the, you know, the, uh, the other people, it, uh, I think it's one of the best, you know, the feature of the market. Yes. Well, recently there has been increasing, you know, number of Japanese who come to settle in Thailand, who come to live in Thailand. Uh, in your opinion, what would be you know the factors for those Japanese to take into their consideration for coming to live in Thailand? Mm. I say that the, uh, there are some you know, the uh, aspects the, from the viewpoint of the business. The 
it is no doubt that Thailand is one of the, you know, the key uh, destination mm -hmm. of the investment from Japan because the Thai is a kind of the uh, have a, one of the center of the ASEAN mm -hmm. and the uh, our Japanese company have uh, you know the, the built up the kind of the industrial clusters uh, and the those huge you know the clusters of industry also invite some other you know tier two or tier three or some related industry to do the business and the growing market of the ASEAN and Thailand can also attract the other other you know businesses mm. to get the access into those growing and the middle income level market. I think that is the major you know economic issue that mm. attracts the businessmen to here. And the as for the uh, non business okay. side. Hosumi san. Yes. Would you mind sharing with me and with the viewer the detail of the investment yes. of the Japan investor in Thailand. Okay, thank you very much for your question. And the, with regard to the features of the Japanese investment in Thailand, first of all, I can point out the those investment are made from the viewpoint of long term basis. Mm -hmm. uh, take the example of the automobile and the component industry and electric and electronics industry. Uh, these industry are consisted by the uh, several clusters, like uh, assembly maker uh, supported by tier one companies, and also tier one company uh, supported by tier two, uh, tier three, and so on. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of the huge uh, cluster of mm -hmm. the businesses. Mm -hmm. Then, it's a little bit difficult to change, mm -hmm. the, you know, the production system to the other area. The second point is that. When we go back to the, uh, the experience in the flooding in Thailand mm -hmm. in, in 2011, uh, we had there some difficulty to maintain the production in Thailand. In that case, uh, the uh, Thai government, uh, you know, both government has you know ne negotiated and eventually uh, the around 5,000 Thai workers, and experts. Uh, were sent to Japanese factories to assist the maintenance of the production of particular key parts. It, it, it implies that those economy in Japan and Thailand has been closely you know, the connected, mm -hmm. interconnected, mm -hmm. uh, based upon those kind of the global supply chain. So we are deeply connected each other. And the uh, third point is that the as far as type of the uh, investment is concerned, the uh, by nature basis, mm -hmm. uh, the large portion are expansion of the businesses. I say some the uh, this is <laughs> this is a figure by nature basis, mm -hmm. uh, sources BOI. The expansion is this figure mm -hmm. and new investment mm -hmm. is this figure. So take into account this kind of the foundation of the existing industry. Uh, we should maintain and develop further the, uh, the industry here by attracting more investment mm. from Japan in Taiwan. Well, thank you very much, hosumi san for sharing your time with us. It's been just a great moment for me uh, and for the insider and for the viewer, of course, to learn many things from you because you are such a very important person uh, in Thailand in terms of help to facilitate uh, the relationship, economic relationship between our two countries. Once again, thank you very much. Sadika. Sadika. Kupumaka.